You have to bucket it down into a couple of areas. I mean, the first is that we should all see digital as an opportunity for growth. We certainly see it in our business where it's enabling to reach customers at lower cost uh, and therefore broaden the pool of, of the customers that we can serve. And in particular, you know, often by unbundling products or, or disintermediating uh, middlemen is just allowing us to, to reach customers in far more diverse ways. And so, you know, if, you, if you're going to be a CFO, you've got to be at the heart of the growth agenda for the business. And I would argue that digital these days is increasingly about that. The, the, the other thing is that it will, because, because it tends to break down barriers, because it tends to atomize um, components and parts of the business that it touches, the decisions required are, are, are far more numerous and therefore the analysis that finance brings to those decisions, the level of objectivity, the data-led decision making, is just that much more important. When you've got more ways, more channels, I mean, whether you're a retailer and it's no longer just bricks and mortar, or whether you're in our business and you can service customers across many different channels, that puts a greater premium on finance and, and the leadership of the finance function to be able to resource and make those decisions. So th there are more decisions, you have to um, resource them in, in different ways. You need, a, you need a slightly different finance type of finance person often to be able to do that decision support than, than just the transactional side of finance.